All right, so here's the final result. All right, guys, it's Vertex over here, aka Fresh Cut Vertex, aka Verse the Truth. <laughs> okay, today we'll be working on uh, textures, which is one of my favorite topics in sample making. All right, so there's three ways in which I make textures on my samples. The first one is melodic sample. The second one is the drag and drop. And then the third one is textured sound. So I'm going to start with the melodic sample. So this is my favorite, and I'm going to be dropping a lot of sauce on this one. So Get your napkins because there's gonna be sauce leaks. All right, so the melody sounds like this. All right, so you get it, right? So the first thing you want to do on this one is you see this little arrow here you click on the sound that you want to make a texture out of so this one is going to be the Tyrell right here you click it and then you want to send it to another mixer track so you press here so now the output is shared you see there's another output here so and you want to make sure it's all the way so that the entire sound is being sent over here. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a cocktail of different VSTs that you can add to your samples in order to make these textures. So the first one is gonna be reverb. You wanna drench it in a lot of reverb and decrease the dry, like increase the wet, decrease the dry. The next thing, uh, you wanna add a 4D phaser and then you wanna go to the preset called Wishy Wash, I mean Wish Wash hear that it's kind of like panning both left and right this is to add like kind of some depth to it yeah now you're starting to notice the difference a little bit but next what we want to add here a flanger or flanger depending on how you call it and then you want to go to chorusy all right so you're almost done with the first step the first part of the sample i mean of the texture and then what you want to do here, you want to click this arm disk recording. And when it's red, that means it's ready to record. Next, you want to press Alt R. And it's going to show this little, <coughs> it's going to show this little exporting menu here. It's going to render it inside of the project instead of outside of the project so that you don't have to drag it back into the project. So press start. Okay. So now you want to unsend this thing. You want to press here so that it doesn't have another output here then you wanna uh, thingy disable this arm disk recording all right so now we have our texture right here it's it sounding kind of like weird kind of like alieny type of thing but that's how we want and by the way you can kind of like edit all the plugins i'm showing here you can add your own these are just like the ones i like it doesn't have to be these ones or this specific order but you want to bring something that brings like some ambience to it so that it stands out from the original sound uh so now we're going to do the second part of the texture cocktail of vsts so you want to send it to a track when you add the track here we're going to add more reverb can also add Valhalla Freck Echo, which is my favorite plugin at the time for the effects and everything. And then which one I add next is this one. Yeah, this one is my favorite. It's the entire sauce of this video. If you're not familiar with it, uh, basically it's the Vocodex, that's the name. I'm not sure what it's for, but I use it for textures. So basically, want to decrease this first and then start playing your sample and then increase it little by little all right so this <laughs> little issue with this vocodex though which is, you should be aware of is basically 
it boosts the frequencies if that makes any sense it kind of makes them louder especially in the highs and the mids so what you want to do to fix it you want to bring in a compressor let me just find it real quick mm, i'll use this one for time's sake and then you want to increase the ratio decrease the threshold All right, so now I'm gonna tweak these settings and then I'll be back in a few. All right, so I did a little bit of changes. I decreased the mix level for this one, for the Vocodex. And I also changed the order of the VSTs because it actually has an impact. You, you can actually get different effects if you put the reverb before or after everything. So keep that in mind when you're making your textures. All right, so this is the textures without the original sample, just the texture, and then I'm going to play it with the sample. All right, so here's the final result. So now I'm going to show you the next technique of this tutorial, which is the drag and drop. First, I'm going to play the sample so they can get a feel for it. This technique basically is about dragging a texture from any texture pack you have or one shot packs. And then this one, I'll be using one from Carson. So just drag and drop here. But then I'm gonna show you how to take it to the next level and make it kind of more interesting. Basically we'll be making a rhythmic texture, if that makes any sense. So it's gonna sound like this at the end. So now I'm going to play it with the entire sample so you can hear the difference. All right, so what this does is like you're taking a, a texture that's already made like some vinyl or a room ambience. And then what you want to do is when I throw it into a gross beat, you go to this bottom section here. I chose the sidechain preset, but then I edited it and then made it into a rhythmic kind of like volume pattern, if that makes any sense. If I disable it, it's just a vinyl texture. But now, when you enable it, see so it has more movement and then it's kind of like adds an interesting flavor to your sample. So when I played with these drums right here, the drum loops and everything, it's kind of like interacting with the whole bounce that the drum loops have. So when I played all together, There are multiple ways you can do this you don't have to use gross speed but i like to use gross speed because it's like more control and it doesn't take as much time you can also chop it up all 
All right, so the last part of the tutorial is kind of going to be kind of quick, but I'm going to be browsing through all the VSTs I use that have textured sounds. The first one is Tyrell. It has some really, really good sounds. And I'm going to show you how you can use it to add textures to your sound. I'm just going to pick one of my favorite sounds that I designed here. As you can hear, it's kind of like greedy, kind of like dirty. And in order to do that, you just increase the noise. And you can also choose the type of noise you want, whether it's white noise or red noise. And if you put it in the middle, it's going to be pink noise. So just different, different properties. So the next plugin I'm going to be covering is Cina. There's some really great sounds, although it's not for the masses. It's really dirty, really grimy. You can even change the settings here. As you can hear, there's a lot of movement in the, in the frequencies you can see up here. So these are my favorite plugins for textured sounds. I hope this was useful and I'll catch you in the next video. Yeah.